Fowler's toads breed in New England in May and June, eventually leaving thousands of tadpoles in small, shallow pools throughout the region. I think of them as tadpole cities, with little commuters running this way and that throughout the day. However many tadpoles you are looking at, the interactions between the tadpoles are invarying. They essentially act as if there are no other tadpoles in the universe. Whether it's newborn tadpoles or tadpoles like these that are almost at the end of their tadpoleness, ready to turn to toads, tadpoles bang into each other, um, touch each other, twitch around each other, but essentially seem to move randomly as if the other tadpoles weren't anything more than a physical obstacle. They treat them exactly the same way they treat big water bugs. They treat them the same way they treat little isopods who annoy them and hit their skin. They twitch, they move, they bump, but they do not seem to recognize tadpoleness. Tadpoles of different sizes and different ages treat each other exactly the same. They are oblivious to all kinds of tadpoles. The thing to look for here is that all of the swimming tadpoles essentially swim by themselves. You, even if you see two swimming together for a while, it's not as if they land together or stay together. Fowler's toad tadpoles eat bacteria and algae scraped off of plants. They feed like they do everything else, as if all of the other tadpoles just didn't exist. This clip is going to inspire the new dance craze, the tadpole shake. Tadpoles live in an organic soup. There are so many different things to disturb them, from the tiny to the large, and they essentially have no defense mechanism. So to deal with any annoyance, they just shake. I leave you with this clip. Is this social behavior? Or is this just tadpoles moving as if they were the only tadpole in the world? Since we can't really ask them, I guess we'll never know.